Hey, it's Haley, um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a PDF document and annotate on top of it in Word. So, um, right now, I have a couple of people that are needing to take a campus map and draw arrows on it for fire drill evacuation or tornado drill. Um, and so, I'm going to show you how to take your blank campus map and draw on it if you're using Windows or a PC. Um, we're going to do it in PowerPoint. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that you have your PDF of your campus map. Okay, and then the next thing that we're going to do is open PowerPoint. Okay, and I'm just going to choose a blank document. Okay, so here is my blank slide. I'm going to take my map and drag it on top of this slide. Okay, I want to turn it sideways. Okay, and you can also crop it from here if you need to. Let's see. Where's my crop? There it is. So I don't need that extra white space. I can crop it like that. And then select crop. Okay, so right now there's my campus map. Um, let's zoom in so that I can see a little better. Okay, so here is my campus map right now. I'm zoomed in. Um, and so what I want to do is draw my arrows on this to show, you know, that these rooms, 30, 40, 50, 60, they evacuate this way and 1, 10, and 20 evacuate in this direction. Okay, so to do that, I am going to come up here and select this little shape button. And if it's not here, if you have an older version of PowerPoint, it is under insert shape. Okay, and then you can select over here which shape you want. And there's arrows. Let's go back to all shapes. There's skinny arrows. It's pretty easy to use over here. Um, but if you have this version that I have, there's a button right up here for shapes. So under lining connectors, choose this and I want all of these rooms to evacuate this way. Okay, so I just click where I want to start my arrow and then drag it to where I want it to end. Um, and then let's say that I want another one because I want these rooms to evacuate this way. Okay, you can change the color of these arrows by um, right by clicking on it and then you can come up here and select you know you want that one to be red and uh, you want this one to be green um, you can also make smaller arrows if you're showing that um, you want you know this particular classroom to evacuate and follow the red path uh, let's see let's make that one red so it matches um, but see how this is a really big arrow we can let's see come up here and make it skinnier um, and then if you want to use multiple ones of these you can click on the arrow and make sure it's got the little dots on each end and you're going to hit control C and then control V C is in cat V is in voice and that just copies and pastes the arrow. Okay, so that's the easiest way to do it once you get it the shape and size that you want to just copy and paste um, the arrow over and over for the classrooms. Um, you can also use this shape Let's see. so I want these rooms I actually want room 130 to come out this door. OK, 
Okay, so I can turn this. Where's my... Maybe. There we go. It shouldn't be that difficult. Hmm. Well, maybe that's not the best option in PowerPoint. I know that works on a Mac in um, Preview. Okay, um, so now say for example that we are going to do um, tornado, uh, a tornado drill, and you want to show where they're going to take shelter. So these rooms, you know, 100 through 150 are going to take shelter in this hallway. Um, we can add a line because they're going to be taking shelter right down this hallway. Um, we're going to make this line a little bit thicker. So we can right click on it. Let's see, where did it go? There we go. Weights. You click on it and then go up here to where you can change the color and go to weights. And you can make that line thicker or skinnier. Okay, and then if we wanted to show, you know, what classrooms exit and come into this hallway. Um, you don't have to do the little arrows if you wanted to. You could just do triangles. And we we'll just copy and paste. Okay, um, if you want to add text, you can do insert text box. And then start typing here. Okay, and let's zoom out a little bit. You can move this wherever you want. Okay, um, I also had another question about inserting squares to mark where gas shutoffs were. Okay, that's just a box up here under basic shapes. I'm going to choose the square and again you can change the color. Okay, a lot of different things that you can do with your drawing tools. Okay, um, now we are going to save it. So I'm going to do File, Save As. And I don't want to save it as a PowerPoint. I want to save it as a PDF. That way it will be easier to share, send, and upload to the website or um, if you're having to put it inside of another document like a handbook. Um, it's a lot easier and easier to work with if you save it as a PDF, but you won't be able to edit it after. Okay, so let's call this emergency back. The documents is fine, and then I'm going to save it. Okay, so now I'm going to open my finder. And under Documents, this is what it looks like. Okay, so um, it's easier to do it in PowerPoint than it is in Word uh, and to draw your shapes. Word is not, you can't really get the arrows lined up exactly the way you want them like in, you can in PowerPoint. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and I'll try my best to help you. Thanks for watching.